chair. Good night, moon. Since 1947, the classic storybook with its soothing rhymes has helped countless kids fall fast asleep. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. But oh, how things have changed. Fast forward now to the digital universe we live in, and this is the new bedtime lullaby. Good night, LCD, Wi Fi, HDTV. Good night, iPad, a parody available in ebook and hardcover, and appropriately written by Android. And it's not all that surprising, considering everywhere you turn these days, this is what you see. A world of technology right at our fingertips, a mountain of gadgets that kids can easily get lost in. Can you tell me why you like to play on the iPad? Because it's way fun. Four-year-old Ian Wilson started playing with smartphones and the iPad two years ago. The tempting technologies are now his favorite toys. Because it's exciting, it's handheld, it's moving, it's flashy, it's bright, you know, something he can control. The games certainly hold Ian's attention, but the toddler is also learning valuable lessons. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This app has taught him how to read. <laughs> and write the alphabet. For anybody to say your kids should not be on it, I think is antiquated. Ian's father keeps a close eye on his son's use of technology. There's a strict one hour maximum per day time limit, but many kids are spending hours and hours on end every day fixated on the flashy devices. They've become digital babysitters and experts say children can become addicted. They have tantrums, you know, they don't want to leave the games, you know, you have to almost bargain with them. Flashing out uncontrollable tantrums and aggressive behavior are the first signs that kids could be growing dependent. Fresno child psychologist Charmaine Radion says it can turn into an addiction so strong it mimics that of an alcoholic or heroin addict. It's those same areas of the brain that we find that is being stimulated the same way as if they were um, taking drugs. And in the early developmental years, any type of addiction can be harmful. And if the, the neural pathways are being formed simply around certain kinds of media interventions, then there's other parts of their brains that is not being developed, and it can have long-term kinds of effects. Kids need to learn technology to be successful in the future, but how much is too much? Psychologists say anything over two hours a day is risky. Balance like anything else. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to, you know, every once in a while it's okay to give them a little candy, but you don't want that to be all they get. So it's all about a healthy balance. Psychologists say children need to put away the iPads and the smartphones and replace them with something a little more hands-on and a lot more active. Three, two, one. The issue of technology addiction has become so concerning that a psychologist in Britain has opened a digital detox center for kids. There is no such program here in the States, but at this Fresno summer camp, the goal is similar. You see that a lot, the dead stare, and they just need to get out and laugh and run and play. There is no technology in sight at this camp. Instead, what you see are kids being kids. I like running around because I like, really, really like running around. Complete with outside activities and indoor arts and crafts. We're making rocket ships. Perhaps the most valuable aspect is socializing. They learn how to talk and communicate to each other, and it helps so much um, by doing that instead of, you know, talking through video games and text and all that. Dan Wilson says it comes down to moderation. Ian will continue to play with his favorite toys to keep up with the ever-evolving times. D. D. Who starts with D? What's, what's my name? Dad. But even in a world full of changes. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. This dad knows some things must stay the same. Would you ever go to the good night iPad? Good night, good night moon for me. In Fresno, Angela Greenwood, KC24 News.